What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Mythic Heroes, and today we are on our main account here. We're going to try to do some optimal damage dealing when it comes to the guild bosses, mainly the War Dragon. So, it is a Verdian uh, mode, so we do have Tammy, which is going to be a great one. I'm going to try to fully optimize for her, mainly because we also now have a much more powerful uh, Western Queen. We got her up to uh, Celestial 2. We're actually almost at Celestial 3. Just one copy away. We have her weapon unlocked all the way up to 300 attributes, which means allies are going to be getting uh, attack speed, dodge, and crit chance. We're going to run like a full support hero lineup around her as well. Um, we're going to be lowering the enemy's damage if that's possible. I'm not quite sure. So we have a lot of good things going on. We're going to run, of course, Yasunaki on her too. And we're going to go to make her just as strong as possible. We're running cooldown on her. Yasunaki on her. All that's good. Let's check out these though. Um, I haven't really checked to see which ones are the best for bosses. And I really need to optimize that. I don't like that. Don't like that. That's pretty good. I like that one at the beginning of the battle. We don't care about shields. We don't care about that. What's this one? Increase the damage dealt from active skills. That one's pretty solid. Auto attacks. Yeah, no, we. this is pretty much, I think, the good setup right here. I think this is pretty optimal running what Savvy and Supernova together. I think that's going to be really, really good. I think we have her fully maxed out, essentially. We're up to level 307. So beyond that, we're going to look at her our support heroes that we have. Man, I really need to get her divinity up higher. I haven't invested anything in the actual divinity. I've got her level way, way up there. But the one thing that I haven't really pushed... Oh, man, I totally forgot. I need to even uh, level this up further. We're almost done with with his uh, hero enhancements. So I want to run, like, Western Queen. I want to run uh, Idun, I believe. I think... I wonder, we can't fit all of our supports in, in the same lineup. Even Cassandra, her weapon is up to 320, so we don't quite have the 400 yet, so I'm not worried about her. I think Nua, Idun, Western Queen, we're of course going to throw Dio in. We're not going to run Lucifer or anything because we want Tammy to tam 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 you know, TNM. TNM, we'll go with TNM because a lot of people don't like me saying Tammy, but that's just what I get out of it. We're going to make sure she is like the most priority target, especially because the Western Queen's abilities are so strong. This We want this Bluebird's favor following her the entire time. So let's jump into it. That's pretty much the setup. What we're going for, we're going to go up against the War Dragon because Verdian has the advantage. And we're going to set this line up in a specific way. Let's put you in the front and let's put like you in the front. I think this is the squad we want to run. Three supports with one damage dealer here. We're also getting a nice three times, two times combo here between Verdian and Luminarch. I think this is good. I'm just hoping our team actually survives. So let's see how this turns out. If they die early, we can maybe swap some stuff around. Oh, I do an immediately going down. Man, our support, our supporters are going down quick. But Western Queen and Dio are the two most important. Maybe we need to put her right in the front line. We'll do a couple different attempts to see how they work out differently. If we put her in the front row, it does seem like one of the two in the front will die. And I'm thinking maybe we put Nua in the front since she's not as important. Uh, but it seems like we're doing some really good crazy damage right here. It feels really good. And this combo right here, Dio and Western Queen, I think is like the combo to have for any type of boss fight now. The Bluebird following, the defense down and everything we got going on in the boss. Oh, that is by far the most damage I think I've ever done. I need a screenshot of that one right there. Holy cow. That is some supporting. Jeez, man. Considering she died like immediately, she still got a ton of healing off right there. Man, look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. You know, I'm taking a screenshot of that one too. Okay, so that was what? How much damage? 362 million. Let's try switching these up a little bit. If we put her in the front row, I feel like that's going to be the safer option. 
because I think once the front row is gone, it goes after the closest target. Let's see if this works out better because Idun is going to feed more energy to the team and I think have more use than Nua. I'm hoping the whole back line stays safe with this setup. If that's true, then this is actually a really good way to run this. Because that means all three of our supports are alive. I think the only thing we have to decide is which one is more important, Iadun or Nua. And I think we'll take a look at their skills real quick after this one just to see if there's a way that maybe Nua does better. Or we just drop Iadun. We just, we, we just science it out right now. Just swap them around after this attempt and see exactly what happens here. So... It could work. I'm telling you, though, the Western Queen is that one of my new favorite supporters in the game. She is so, so ridiculously strong, powering up your main damage dealer, which is why I don't want Lucifer in here. Yes, he's a good damage dealer, but only Verdian's getting that bonus or not negative bonus. So that was 300. Somehow that ended up being not as good. Could have been RNG mixed in there, right? 289. Let me take a look at my screenshot. What was the last one we just did there? 289, 354 is what she did the previous time. Is there something giving back row allies bonuses? I don't know. Let's try hitting one more time here though. So let's try swapping those two up, put Nua in the back, put Idun in the front where she will die. There could be something where it, we're getting bonuses to back row allies. And if that is the case, then sacrificing two heroes in the front row is the better option. We'll see how Nua does. Oh, Nua even fell here too. Interesting. I wonder what's going on with this fight here. I probably need to understand his actual skills a little bit more just to get more information out of this but overall i mean the damage is absolutely insane western queen dio combo is ridiculous there are two must build heroes which means a full luminar team it might be kind of crazy if you have like a susano or an artemis in this lineup could be crazy yeah not quite the same i wonder what it is you know let's do one more hit we're gonna challenge for one more yeah we're, we'll do one more it's fine it's fine so what happens if we put them back in the back row again is it it just might be something like that where it's a scenario where oh, oh, oh something's going really wrong here we almost lost everybody that time <laughs> oh man i need to try to understand the vert the emerald dragon's abilities just a little bit better i mean it ended up being fine it's just our back row ended up taking a ton of damage right there for no reason oh man TNM just going absolutely crazy with the damage, doing such big damage numbers. Good lord, I love these two heroes. The, you know, the thumbnail is going to be those two paired together because they are just such a god tier setup when it comes to boss damage. Like, there's no other word to put it but god tier. They are absolutely amazing. So, yeah, something about being in the back row, she must be getting bonuses because, like I said, the previous time she did what? 354. This time it's 356 million. So, I mean, we can't really discount that. That combo is just absolutely sick. Uh, damage to target with an exception of the Viridians. Interesting. Interesting. Roars the mind. Blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the back row. Maybe it's something I'm missing with a weapon as well. Some sort of bonus or buff we get. I really, really don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but all I can say is this is by far one of the best new supports in the game, hands down. She is amazing. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Let me know how your uh, your PVE boss damage is doing with these two heroes together, and I'll see you guys next time.